With more than 200 million people reliant on the world's oceans for their livelihood, creation of a sustainable global fisheries industry is a critical issue at the upcoming Rio Plus 20 UN Conference on Sustainable Development. I think the biggest threats to fisheries, fisheries resources in the ocean, number one is overfishing. You know, we're probably facing too many boats chasing too few fish. UNDP partnered with the local government in South India to help fishermen continue to earn a living while at the same time protecting their fragile environment. More than two and a half billion people depend on the ocean's fish as their number one source of protein. We've seen in some cases when a fishery is really pushed over the limit, not only does it collapse, but if it gets too far, it doesn't recover at all. New species will come in to take over that vacuum that's created by the species that's been overfished. And even when the fishing pressure on the original target species is reduced, in some cases you won't see recovery. So it's very important to get it right at the beginning, or you could actually start to see a global deficit in fisheries. <laughs> Roughly half the world's fish stocks are considered fully exploited. We can't exploit any more without them you know, facing collapse. A quarter are depleted or overexploited or, or even collapsed. And maybe only one remaining quarter is considered fish sustainable. Since the implementation of this partnership, Coral Reef has recovered to nearly 50%. An annual two and a half month ban on fishing ensures fish stocks will regenerate year after year, and the local communities are empowered to sustainably manage the ecosystem vital to their economy. We know the, the suite of issues. We know the main sort of root causes of these issues. So, it isn't necessarily about throwing large sums of money at these problems. I mean, you need money, but it's about getting the right political will to make the necessary policy and other decisions that can then let the market do its wonders if the right signals are sent through policy.